sounds like you're cursing. Welcome back, Zero K fans. That unmuted at the wrong time. And this is going to be semifinals round. Well, semifinals two. The Google Frog and Aquanim versus Slipstep and Lowry. And this is going to be starting out once again on Frozen Planet. Because, <laughs> honestly, how else can you say that name? I don't know why that name, but it's just that name. It is that name. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's like Battle for Planet X, 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 B. Battle for <laughs> Planet 17. 17, sure. Well, that's what it is, XBII. But an, an, an English accent would be here. Uh, Battle for Planet 17. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's not quite an English accent, but it works nonetheless. What sort of system has 17 planets? That's, that's a lot of planets. It is, but I think it depends on how no you count idea. that planet. Oh, and the game is starting. So we have over in the northeast side of the map, Aquinum going for spiders, the typical factory. Google Frog is going for Shieldbot Factory, which actually don't s see much play on this map. While Flipstep once again spiders and Lowry going for not what I wanted, Lowry going for Cloaky. So Lowry is the only one who is going for a factory that actually makes perfect sense. Though the Shieldbot also makes sense, but no one ever plays Shieldbot in this map, ever. The I think I think it's 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 not untypical. I mean, I think maybe um, not uh, never, but it's rare. It's not as common as the other two. I, I think it's a little rare in general because you sort of need the big shield ball and and some of the units that are more specialist. Yeah, and this map, and you, the shield ball going up the hills, that's just it's slow already. I don't know. Admittedly, it does work well in the tokens. I, I, th I think the metal extractors are spread out. You can't really have like the single push. The, yeah, you know, game-winning push that the, the FLM ball will do. Yeah, because you, you need to sort of raid a lot and glaze and take a little bit strong. Yeah, so that's the thing. It's like but not super common. The artillery of the shields are very nice in this map if you want to uh, attack a hill. The racketeers? The racketeers. Yeah, I could see that. Definitely would be handy. We'll, I guess, probably see that come up too because that is Google Frog playing the Shieldbot Factory. They are very likely to use racketeers when necessary. And... Venom coming to the center, so it looks like very quickly Flipstep and Lowry are trying to assert dominance over the center of the map. Really don't want to let Google Frog and Aquanim have that, Google Frog especially. Although Aquanim is doing decently well. Both play All the players are about even. Flipstep and Lowry slightly ahead, but overall about even. But yeah, this map, this map has so little economy. Very much a knife fight, especially in a 2v2 situation. Hey, I'm... Um, uh... The, the factory is actually really interesting, I think, because you have both players going for Raiders plus Venoms, and Venoms are a really strong, fast riot unit, which you can almost use not as a Raider, but as an anti, a fast anti, anti unit unit. Mm -hmm. um, while you can, while one player raids out, the other player deals with any um, sort of defensive duties. Yeah, which actually does kind of, well, okay, like I said before, spiders as spiders because it's hilly doesn't make much sense, but spiders because they're spiders. Kinda does, because spiders are still good. The hills are still the, the, there's still some unpassable areas, and it's still That's spiders true. still take advantage. Yeah, spiders have everywhere. The whereas there's a glaive coming in uh, on the top right now. I don't think there are any uh, light defenses. There is, yeah, that's right. For Lowry coming over the north side, actually two glaives. There's a spider down. One was already uh, sleeping venom. there, and the other one's there. There's a venom in position. Uh, the first glaive goes down to defender, and the second glaive gonna get hit by the defender before anything else happens. Should be able to take it out though. That glaive is outrunning the venom, and Lowry not going for. No, no, okay, Lowry is going for it. Same time, in the center of the map, there is Google Frogs. Well, not really doing much. This so, yeah. was. Uh, they just lost four or five glaives in the past five seconds. Yeah. So three in the center, two in the north. Lowry and Flipstone Moment, uh, are not starting out the best way. Google and Google Aquan have a little army advantage now. Google, they could Google run over has, that LT now. He has nothing Frog in position to kill the LT, so he just builds a defender there, which is you know. That works. Oh, yeah, build that commander. To commander is the best yeah. anti LT weapon. Yeah, by building defenders, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Commander kills everything by building something else to kill it for them. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, it has a laser on. or uh, some sort of weapon. Light particle beam is what's uh, used right now, but laser was also a potential option. Did not come up, though. However, Lotus being built for Google Frog, and it looks like the center is being taken by Google Frog and Aquinum, despite Lowry and Flipstip's efforts. And that's uh, some nice reclaim. That's uh, 200, mm -hmm. little 200. Yeah. Actually, it looks like Flipstep and Lowry are going for the flank instead. They don't even want to go for the center anymore. They're just trying, like, Lowry going for the south, Flipstep going for the north. Just want to flank out Google Frog oh. and Aquinum, try to just crush them. Oh, perfect. 
There's a thug. The, the thug ball will little, break uh, through this. Little yeah. That'll break very cleanly through this as well. Though the oh, Venom should really does... Be careful. I don't know. The Venom has a decent chance of getting through this, but the defenders do not. And the Venom doesn't even have enough health to make it. No. Venom does stun out of the outlaw, though. But neither stun out of the thug. That was the key thing. This was Rocco's your really good choice against oh. this, which is what he's I think yeah. Google Frog totally anticipated uh, the defenders on this map and made uh, Shield Ball in advance. And good on them for doing so. However, Lowry, also the same thing. I mean, dealing with shields and spiders, Rocco's kind of the only choice. Because Rocco counters spiders. Yeah, Rocco's are nice uh, in shields. a situation like this. Rocco's I think uh, both, I a tick uh, should have been made. Mm, yeah, very good point. With the outlaw there, it's if the outlaw's on and sweeping. It, it might work the first time though, but after that he'll he'll turn it off. I think yeah, can, there are no uh, bandits there to hit the uh, tick. Yeah, but the outlaw is the problem because the outlaw smacks the tick and then explodes. But I think you can take a couple of those waves before it. Um, can you? It will still yeah, get the uh, outlaw, right? Twenty sec damage per second. Oh yeah, actually twenty damage. So yes, actually you could, because a tick does in fact have fifty health. So you take three waves. Yeah. So yeah, that actually that's would work out. However, that's also kind of irrelevant. Because the, the Rockos are destroying everything at this Pretty point. Pretty much, yeah. And the Pinsir is still holding, actually. Despite the loss of the defenders, Lowry is still able to hold this Lowry outside. Lowry cannot get in. He cannot expect to get in there. I'm Not over the hill, no. Forward. Although it looks like the Glaze are trying to, they're trying to see if they can do anything, but no. No, they can't. No, he wants to get in. Oh, you only do that to force... Uh, the other army to move back. Thug ball in the middle. Nope. Actually, it's like Although it looks it. like that thug ball. Ooh, how is that working out? Thug ball starting to run low on shields. The hermit's still doing pretty fine. The slow is the only real problem for the hermits at this point. But everything else is going in their favor. And the rock was from behind. This is the pure pincer. But I don't think it's timed well enough. I mean, no, it's nice. It's uh, not bad, but the shields are low now. Oh yeah, they are low. Just thinking, it would have been better if the rock was came in about five seconds earlier just to really pincer it. Because now this one goes back to the hill. over to the northeast. I mean, these, those thugs, that thug law ball was in check, but managed to escape over to the northeast because the rockers. Flips up and Lowry do have a better economy, so they can afford to lose little fights. They do, and although the north side, there's a definite front line to the oh, north. Oh wow! Look and at south. those uh, hermits. Oh wow! Their yeah. projectiles are so fast. Yeah, uh, they really seem to be working well. Hermits buff recently. Zach. The commander in the middle is going down. Yeah, yeah, well, Lipsips lost, lost their commander, but still, they have an economic advantage. But yeah, were Hermits buffed recently? Because I don't recall seeing them in the change logs. Not, not very recently, no, I don't think so. I think they were buffed a while ago with the redback change. They got oh, slightly okay, faster projectiles ago. as well. Okay. Yeah. I've used them a bit since it's, then. You don't see Hermits very often. No, because people forgot that they were, or people forgot they were buffed to be useful. And nice oh, Venom nice timing! Venom's Perfect awful. Venom timing! Gets rid of those outlaws! Well, the Hermits will get rid of the outlaws, obviously, but still. That was Flipstip perfect. is not focusing fire, no, he's not microing. No, you he needs to move it. the red back in. Dropped it! Oh no, there we go, okay, got it. Got back into that, because just, just about dropped that opportunity. Because that was... And now we're no, losing one of those what expensive red back. Flipstip dropped the opportunity twice! That the red back needed to be in position for that to do the DPS, because, you know, hermits just do not have the No, DPS. but it's just that... Could have still kept it stunned, but no, unfortunately, was not able to hold that. It's still... Attack moving is not the way up. to play 0k in up until the 25th minute. Yeah. You have to micro every unit individually, especially in those heli uh, fights where nothing, the, the the mechanics don't work as they you would expect them to, with the terrain and yeah, the line the of sight that uh, keeps appearing and reappearing. It was almost in position, but it needed to be just a little bit higher up the hill for it to be able to fire. Yeah. There's a big line of rockers along the south, but the um, rogues and recluses, which actually outrange them and can skirmish them, they don't hit very often, but it's enough to completely prevent the rockers from advancing anymore. Although it looks like they're going to be still advancing uh, into the center, and that Google Frog has they seem a very to be hitting strong today. presence in the center. <laughs> That's the thing. That it, it depends on the micro, but yeah. That center is still going to Google Frog, I think, because, I mean, look just the way it's set up. That character is going to be grabbing all this reclaim. There's the commander, there's all the defenses here. And Flipster doesn't have enough damage output at this point to really work as one side of the pincer here. And at the same time, Aquanim assaulting the north, getting rid of these defenders and taking out Flipstips, or sorry, taking out, well, he has Flipstips base up here. Flipstip losing their entire outpost, dropping the front line, and Aquanim pushing forward while Google Frog takes the center. This pincer attempt is really starting to fall behind. Google Frog has started an airplane plant. 
and he's building it with his caretaker. Yeah. It'll be done in about a minute. So that is going now we see uh, an HLT getting up in the Gaat Tower. Oh. But he's going to come Wait. in with the um, Dog Ball, I think, and try and. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Stinger is. Stinger is up, it's though. Up. So it's at least going to be a. This might some cause use. some problems with the rest Not of much the Not Unfortunately, uh, present. these conjurers are really overextending themselves. But thankfully for the Not the, 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 the this tower. No, no, he needs to pick out no. uh, the, 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 the stronger unit. Not yet doing that. Unfortunately for Google Frog, that. Sorry, unfortunately, fortunately for Google Frog, unfortunately for Lowry, that's. Not really going to do much. I mean, he's going to deny a bit, but not much more. It's going to stabilize. He, he was he was starting to lose. There was enough um, oh, right, rogues yeah. there. That he was actually starting to lose. He's really heavy rocker advantage, which I mean, you can re you can retreat and, and skirmish against against um against rogues and not lose that many. But he wasn't oh. markering very. I would actually, like to see some sort of artillery at this point. Yeah, and over to the north, we do have <laughs> Flipstep using some mobile units to reestablish that front line that was lost by the defenders. Not sure well it's going to work though. I mean. Flipsum and Lowry investing quite a bit of resources into the north side. Lowry moving all their glaives up north, keeping rockers over to the south just to project a bit of power. But I think Google Frog might get wise to this and just push through the center. I mean, there's one stinger. Now look at it. all those defenders and uh, LTs. Yeah. Lowry's had enough economy in the south right now that, I mean, if you look where the metal extractors actually are. Oh, this glaive attack is going to feel so hard if he pushes through. <laughs> Still at a. Oh, yeah. That's. Aquanim is the defenders. Although, yeah, now, Stiletto is up, you're right. And no facts would for the blue team. The red team has gone from not the no, blue team. Don't and do it. Don't now, do it. Oh, okay. they are going in, and that glaive, you're That's, well, that's the Venoms. Venoms and defenders for you. Glaive and oh, no boy, chance. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, <laughs> boy. This could have filled up here. Although, actually, well, you know, the glaives aren't doing terribly. They're actually managing no, to do there's, a bit there's of enough damage. defenses there that yeah, they're going to clear it off. They're damaging the front line slightly. I mean, that was a lot of. Okay, this is where it ends. Google Frog Aquanim pushing in. This stingers down and. Ooh, roaches. Oh my god, that was <laughs> perfect. With wow, wonderful one-two punch there. Well done by Google Frog on that one. And Aquanim moving in in the broken gate. And just smash the wall down and Aquanim Google Frog flooding through it. Lowry trying to retreat. There is a crepe. <laughs> there's really nowhere Lowry has left to retreat to. I don't see any other real defender out, but there's one defender, but that's about it. There's nothing that. There's nothing Lowry has as a safe point other than their main base. I mean, Google Frog can basically push in. And I think that'll take it. Who needs a racketeer when you have a Thunderbird? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Who um, needs a racketeer when you have Google 12 Frog on a plane? You can tell that Aquanim was, he specifically was told to bring his army back because Google knew that he could just stun that entire line out and they, they could walk their army in. As they very effectively did. And I mean, Flips are trying to do what they can with the Redbacks, but that's still not enough. This is it. I think Google Frog and Aquanim, although Aquanim I think might be pushing in a bit too much. Google Frog realizes that counter forces are coming in, the Glaze are coming in from the, well, not the There's a crab. There is a crab. I think that, that just stabilized because if you look at how much of the map he held, um, Laurie did have a much stronger economy. Yeah. And that just wiped out its economic advantage. And they're stabilized now, so it's about who gets that reclaim and what this crab does. Oh, but the crab is moving. Ah. Now it's in range. It, it was shooting at uh, the HLT nicely. Yeah. If you can well, get, drop one more bomb. Okay. Hit. Well, the crab. Yeah, that's oh. a good hit. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh no, that's, yeah, that that was Google Frog. That was a thing to do. Just, just, it, you know what? It, it can still get, it can still walk out, but as soon as it walks, its armor will come off. Yeah, and the stinger will just nail it's it. It's still <laughs> making it go deeper. However, it looks like Lowry going for a very strong counterattack. Though, the Thunderbird coming in, but, well, it actually did the job. So, still, Lowry going for that counterattack, and it looks like Lowry's going to try to reestablish. And the hammers as well, just to make sure that the... Well, I don't know what, actually, because it's not going to prevent the stiletto, but hey, hammers, why not? The um, uh, the crab did take out Little Frog some um, rogues, though, so... That's true. That was a good hit. Larry's actually, rockers are back in the game. The crab is well defended, and the commander's... Sorry, Weaver's right there. This terraform could be undone. I, he doesn't even need to. He just needs to repair it and then walk Yeah, that out. could work, too. But I think I'm doing the terraform would be he faster. Actually walk, he can actually probably walk to the very lip of it. Fire of the lip and actually avoid being shot back at him if he does it right. Yeah, but I don't know if I don't think Flipstep is confident in their micro from the looks. Of, if they're gonna, 
do that. He has a second crate now. Bombing out the, on the, on the top uh, hammers. A second hit on uh, on Aquanium could uh, fail. Well, no. that's what I mean. It's over the northeast. That's what I was kind of talking about with the Glaives. That they didn't win outright, but they opened it up. They broke the front line, and the weakness. And they didn't rebuild round two. Nor did they reclaim it. Yeah. Although there's a caretaker there to help with reclaim, but overall, however, the south is still a contested area. That's where everyone is focusing, and. Well, except for Flipstiff. Flipstiff is actually keeping nice attention around the map, but... There's something wrong about being confident of the micro, but still, that's that's really precise for that lip. I'm trying to get the line of There's another crab right. in the north. Hmm? Yep. There's another crab in the know, north. I don't know, that's what I mean. It's paying attention to the crab in the north while also making sure to deal with Hermes to the south and crab yep. to the south. And the crab is actually trying to do the lip trick, and the weaver looks like it's trying to go down in... Well, get covered by the pit. And the crab... Not stopping by the lip. Does get hit by the stinger, but survives because. But there's why a spy, not. or infiltrator, or what's his name? Oh, now? and perfect timing to drop into armor mode right as the stiletto hits the crab, and or thunderbird rather hits the crab. Does not get disarmed as a result of dropping into armor mode. That was the only reason. The the uh, the other crab is now stunned out from the spy, and um, uh, is being hit. So the HLT is yeah. down. But yeah, the stinger's down. And the crab is getting repaired, does not go down yet. Ish, maybe, no, actually. Hang on a sec, that crab is still close. in a bad spot. No, well, okay, I don't know, I shouldn't really cheer for that player, but that crab, not cheering for the players, cheering for the crab. No, there are three crabs. Yeah, there are he, three crabs. If you can repair them, that's a dangerous. Uh... And one of the crabs is only disarmed, not stunned, it can move back. So at the same time, Lowry pushing this might this be out, a, and I was totally wrong yeah. to call the game because Lowry, despite losing their entire army earlier on and that entire south side being broken, Lowry has rebuilt, reclaimed, and now that pincer move that had been built up to this entire game is finally paying off. Thunderbird coming in here to try yeah, to delay that, this, but... Like I said, it was who could, uh, in the south, that contested territory, it was cleaned up, but it was who could get the reclaim from that, who could re retake the territory. And what happened to the crab? Lowry and took that with the crab was destroying everything. It was everything. also Aquanium not reclaiming uh, all the metal that is lying there. Yeah, my goodness. While uh, yes, Lori is reclaiming uh, after every fight he has in the south. Yeah, that's 3,000 metal. That's 2k metal. Like, that, yeah, well, okay, 2k metal and more easy way to get. But yeah, still, 2 to 3k metal in the north that Aquanium did not take. Which is rather unfortunate because, well... Now, Flipstim and Loud has a huge advantage that it doesn't even matter if they lose half their army half the time. And hit 11 hit points on the crab that's now retreating. So he and Oh, and also, <laughs> really south, well. there are gremlins that have tried to get rid of that Thunderbird and anything else that comes in, but I think the Thunderbird's already down. Yeah, and it's... Well, now Lori has his anti-air well. uh, on his factory. Almost on the factory of Google Frog. Yeah, the air's been totally shut down. And um, uh, Flipstip's gone for planes himself. Yeah, so at this point, total flip in the game thanks to that south side. And another stinger goes down thanks to the Rockos. Google Frog just trying to build a defensive line, desperately trying to stay in. Billiams and Racketeers try to stop this, and there is yet another Thunderbird, so I was wrong. Thunderbird did not die yet. Uh, Turrets suffer from the repair penalty when you're under attack. I don't think they do, right? I don't know. What? Do, which, what suffer? It didn't look like it. Do do turrets suffer from the repair penalty? Oh, and that's the it's, Turrets is why we put it in, so everything does, yes. It was defense okay. wards with turrets that we put the repair penalty in for, because, you know, you can just sit there repairing a turret infinitely. And, but um, we want we want to encourage uh, out-of-combat repair, so you pull your units back, you repair them, then you send them back into battle, rather than just, like, putting down turrets and putting a hundred nanodars next to them and them never dying. Yeah, exactly. Because it seems uh, the HLT was repaired so quickly. Well, there were Maybe there was was build build power, build 20 power. build power worth of repair into that stinger at once. So it's not surprising. It was repairing yeah. like 24 metal a second, which actually isn't that good. For that much build power. Mm -hmm. Anyway, at the same time though, a flea round back for trying to stop back on him. Sorry, trying oh, to stop him. Now he's wasting metal. Yeah, this is too late. Aquilim's finally reclaiming in the north. He's got three constructors on it. So yeah, it's he's accessing out. into Google Frog's economy, but that's maybe what Google Frog needs at this point, someone to access into his economy. Yeah, Google Frog going for now, mass once again to Thug Law. Trying to drop down the hill around the side, possibly I don't think Thunderbird, because the Racketeers are doing that job now. Not really helping though. I think Google Frog does Google Frog realize what they're shooting at? I don't think they do. No, no, they do. They they realize they're shooting at this 
Conjurer. I don't know. Google Fox Racketeers are not doing the job they were hired to do. And the stiletto is still up, despite the gremlins. Or another stiletto being built, I should say. More stilettos being built, or Thunderbirds being built. Yeah, the, the, the planes the usually get taken on. down on their way back, not yeah, while so they're dropping. Yeah, so I'm guessing the Thunderbird will come in, stun out these gremlins, and the Thug Law Ball will come in to finish them off. But, well, I don't know, that's outside. Finish, they can still run away, and they're still a big army. Yeah. I see a sniper. That's cool. Oh. Wait, here it comes. Oh, yeah, there it is. There is that. Oh, it gets sharp taken shooter. out before it can drop the second half of his uh, load. The second, the sharpshooter has a friend coming up from behind, which will help it out. Partner crime that will be. It comes that no. Maybe useful. I don't know. <laughs> I thought the Thunderbird was going in, but no, it pulled back out again. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> didn't want to die. There's far too many gremlins there. It, it suddenly realized that his life had intrinsic value and decided not to throw it away on such a terrible waste of own time. Oh, unfortunately, that is the only thing that needs to be done in order to actually let this army live so that Thunderbird was not getting its philosophy at the right time. I'm surprised that um, Google hasn't gone for a Felon Ball yet, because that is actually, sort of like the end game huh. position, and this is well and truly, once you get crowds and things, that's well and truly into end game. It looks like Google Frog's just trying to block off this area to stop basically any rush from going through the And yeah, the thing rally. is, um, Flip and Lori are slowly increasing your army value while uh, Google Frog's team uh, only steady. makes units that uh, are one-time use, like the yeah, dirtbags, the, the fleas, the uh, bombers. Um, they're behind quite a bit yeah, in army value. It's 14k it's really against 8k now. And yeah, that's the thing too, is also... Like, I think what Google Frog's trying to do is buy time by blocking this valley out, but... That's not really worth it. Mm. For 50 metal a pop for each thing? For each dirt bag? I don't know. Seems like a terraform wall would be the better way to go. Not really sure what the plan is here. Me neither. It might um, be just to make Render's Rocco on you, Render Rocco's more difficult to use. Because dumpy terrain is hard for them, but it needs to be a bit dumpier for this than this before anything bad happens. You can see oh, on the north, a lot of there's, just died. Crab, there's a crab on the sp on a great big spire, which makes it a completely unassaultable position. Another crab dying to fleas, though. Yeah. That Do I tactical nuke launcher? Cool. <laughs> Wait, what? We actually get. A well, it's probably going to be just for infernos, but hey, why not missile silo? I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised. So far, there hasn't been any of the striders, missile silos, anything like that. I mean. I see those 1v1s too. I mean, like, there was the one 1v1 where there was a silencer in the middle of the match. Or at the end of the match. I think this game's gone on long enough that it, oh, yeah, definitely. it's time it's for this. Minutes. Once you see three crabs. But um, yeah, this missile silo is going to win the game. He's just going to put infernos in each of the bases and clear everything up. Yeah, and that will then... Well, still at Valley. I mean, I think Inferno the bases, a quake into this valley, and then just bum rush the stage. <laughs> and that'll basically finish it. Do you see the cute little thing that Google Frog's done yeah, in the middle of the, the map, though? Yeah, in I the did. Pits? The outlaws in the holes. That's yeah. pretty clever. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, that's, that's really clever. It's, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, between that and the valley, there's really no way for Lowry to but get I in. But I do not have a hotkey for restore ground. Now he's looking at the manual. Wow, can restore ground. <laughs> the quake can restore our ground. <laughs> That would be funny. Yeah, hopefully they use Just it. pop the outlaws out of the ground again. Because honestly, I've never seen anyone use a quake. Because it's one of those things where, well, how would you use it? There's never any terraforming. Except when there is. Like now. <laughs> in late game, in, in, in big play for alls, there's lots of terraforming. Oh yeah, it's just that... I don't know, I've never really seen it come up. But that would be great if it did. Yeah. I don't know if... It's a sniper getting revealed in the middle by the... And now it's gotten numb. Disarmed. Oh, nuclear bomber. Oh yeah, we're yeah, that's, that's a good call at this stage. Everything else is getting shot down, so a nuke bomb is a good call. You can also knock the crab off the hill, which is what it's going to do right now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, camera screwed up at just the right wrong moment. Down it goes. That's quite a lot of damage. Losing armor, and the defenders do try to take it out, but that's that's not going to do that much. Just the crab just walking up the hill once again, slowly but surely. It's, it's into into spider sort of deals. Oh, sacked out your volume. Anyway. Oh, he does have an Inferno now. Where is he going to throw it? Well, it looks like it is going to be too... 
Yeah, see, one inferno so far. Flea's, Flea's taking out a crab along the top, climbed up the hill and did the last of the damage to it. Hmm. Well, that is... Well, he needs... If that That's silo gets bombed by the yeah. Lichio, um... Yeah, I don't know if the Wolverine is aware of that, though. In fact, I'm going to double check, because I think... No, it's not known. That that spot is not actually known as a threat. So Google Frog and Akronim have no idea what's there. Because right now, Flip's just has pretty much the air control. I don't know why he hasn't just, um, along the south hill, just put a bunch of anything up there and just walked down the hill, because there is just, like, two laser towers and a defender, and that's... He could take out most of the solar collectors there. Hmm. But... You know, I get suppose an inferno is another way to end the game. Well, the first way has inferno. Oh, there we go. There's the yeah, first one. Yeah, there it goes. It goes and it goes towards Google Frog's base naturally. That being the best choice. Right in the center. Ooh, very quickly gets rid of the caretaker. Close up a roach. No, send in the glaives. Uh. Well, at any rate. It's going to keep the, the factories from producing. It's going to keep the solar plant the plants closed. So. Yeah, at least slows things down. Akuna, however, now needs to be hit with the next one, which is likely to happen, though the next one is taking a little while longer to build than I'm sure Lowry would like. One of those, on those, uh, Rocketeers would be nice. Oh yeah, the entire ball, I think the ball in the center is probably a higher priority than the base, really, so... We'll see what that's going for, and... Okay, well, oh, we're the bombing the base, yeah, but... Honestly, that just gets the crab into a, well, not a better <laughs> position, but still... Seriously, that doesn't help, and down goes the shieldbot factory! And the Wyvern coming around for another shot. The crab into the oh, sky. It's... Oh, dead <laughs> on impact. <laughs> One more shot in midair. I always enjoy seeing that happen. Shots in midair. The awesome. Wyverns are a lot of fun. Well, I think more they come when, a bunch when of he air, flies into the see air. See if it runs away. And then fires off a shot. It's like, you know what? I'm going to die, but screw you guys. I'm going out with a bang. I'm taking you with me. That's why I have that rock on in my... The Wyvern is still alive. It successfully retreated against the, um, all the gremlins. It which did. Is good, and now the gremlins are being... However, not so much can be said for the Thunderbird. That one went down. Admittedly, it went down right after doing what it needed to do. The and the Wyvern... Ooh, nice shot. Gets rid of almost all the gremlins... Or half the gremlins, at least. Still, there was a lot mm. of gremlins there. Lanium has his own crab now. Yeah, and I think at this point, Louder is going to walk the hill. Not even going to bother dealing with the outlaws. Not going to bother dealing with the valley. Just... Just walk the hill because because he can because they can. But that's I, no. He's afraid of. I think he's afraid of the outlaws because the outlaws can just hit over the other side of the hill and because their pulse goes straight through yeah. terrain, they can actually slow you down oh. before you get to the top and of the hill. Then if you can still climb up another inferno coming down though. That's going to Aquanim's base, slowing that down, stopping the crab from being constructed Don't there. Power for you. Yeah, it's gonna kill all of his um caretakers. It will, but will it do it in time? I oh no, it won't because the crab's gonna get out basically the same amount of time. So that crab's still getting out. He's taking some damage, the character's gonna go down. But dealing with that's gonna be tough. Another crab coming up for Flipstip. And the Wyvern, of course, trying to deal with that too, and it won't be able to do it in time. No, it oh it does! Perfect angle, knocks it back down the hill. That's the side he did that on purpose. Wanted. You can bet that he did that on purpose. That to knock it back? Because after the first time, after the first time that happened to him, he's like, whoops, I knocked it the wrong way. Yeah. But at the same time, it also means Flipstep has a chance to repair it. Yeah, but it's it's buying enough time, I think. He doesn't have anything in position really to kill. Oh, yeah. they're going for their own uh, silo now. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, yeah they, are. they are. Well, that's not a surprise. I don't think I don't think they have the economy for it, honestly. I mean, it, Google Frog's doing a very good job of stalling. You're seeing him pulling out all Laurie these tricks is keeping right his now. units too close to, uh, to each other. Yeah, that's really gets him the Thunderbird all the chance it has. Is yeah, he lost about five Rokos in a single blast from that uh, crate. Oh, yeah, right, because... Oh, I see, yeah, Aquanim has the crab here, too. And why is the sharpshooter not close? Oh, I guess it's being hit by splash damage. However, the northeast... Or north center, Flipstep... Flipstep could push at this point. I'm surprised Flipstep hasn't pushed. And it looks like Flipstep realizing they can push. Although, the Wyvern... Causing a bit of grief for that, but still... Flipstep pretty much able to push. Oh, losing the crab. Okay, both crabs go down to the north, so at least it's fairly even, but still. Flipstep does have, or did have potential to push to the north, kind of lost it. Lowry trying to oh, he wants hammers what 
Couldn't be done with crowds, so that won't work either. The hammer's all going down as well, having to retreat. The defender is simply not allowing them up that much further. And the Inferno into the center of the map, getting rid of some of the workers, at least slowing down the construction of the silo. Well, slowing the construction of the silo missiles, to be more precise. I really think that um, he could afford... I think the weapons are being much more effective, both as defensive tools and as offensive tools. Oh, by um, far. Right now. Than the, the, than the silo, so I think, you know, given that they're investing in crabs and things, they could afford to invest in a second weapon. Uh, it, that might force out more anti-air, though. Like, right now, he's using um, fighters, obviously. Which yeah. are not being very effective because they're all getting dis disarmed, but the weapons will be information if he over-invests in it. Well, maybe. I mean, the Swifts are having a hard time hitting the Wyvern in the port. Although, even then, the Wyvern, it's mostly buying a lot of time, because that Wyvern is stuck in the airport until it repairs. So, Flipster's just keeping that stuck there, giving Lowry a chance to move in. Surprisingly, Lowry's not taking it, but yeah, Flipstep definitely is. Flipstep moving a Venom in. Not quite enough, though. It needs to be a crab, but I guess that will work, too. And down goes a bunch of wind generators. Missed that, but still do see the aftermath of Google Frog's first shot off with the Napalm Bomber, or Napalm Missile, and let's get an overview of this, double-check what's going on exactly. So Napalm over to the northeast. Did some damage here, got some damage in the spider factory, not much though. And Herman trying Herman's to get the missile silo. Snipe. Yeah. Doesn't quite work out, unfortunately, and Well, the missile silo over the west side did a bit of damage. Over Sharpshooter not quite over the crab yet, and that's gonna take a lot of shots. I think that's five hundred damage each with the crab's armor. That's eight shots before it goes down. That structure did go down, so... Hard to deal with. However, Age is coming in here as top of the Wyvern. Try to do what it can. At least get in the way of the, that bomb. And it looks like... I mean, Lowry has the energy for it. Because Lowry has energy in the hundreds. Like 100 mm. and... 152 energy. So yeah, Lowry can afford this pretty easily. That should be useful, getting rid of the next Napalm Missile to come in, getting rid of the next Wolverine Shot to come in, because admittedly it's going for the Crabs. Ooh, vacuuming wow, it's it. it's a one-hit kill. Yeah, vacuuming it into the Outlaw, into the ground. Nice shot placement there. Well done, Google Frog. Okay, I can't deal with this font. Yeah, Google Frog did it really nicely there. However, still, Flipton and Lowry, they're just... They're just overpowering, just brute force win. Yeah, they're really winning on economy, and I mean, he has 34, Larry has 34 rockers in the middle of the map, which he basically feels like thinky that he can't use because the enemy has a crabs and too much AoE in general. Well, I, I, it's just, <laughs> a quake would really do it. That's kind of the annoying part. <laughs> Look at all those Zeus's. Like, one yeah, quake he's, he's going to make a big push with these. Yeah, but one quake would just finish this entire game. Yet another Inferno pops down onto Aquanum's base once again. Dealing with Aquanum's economy, getting into the metal extractors, but at this point, I'm not sure that matters so much. I mean, Aquanum's not really building much. It looks like Aquanum's basically trying to give Google Frog economy, so I suppose in that respect it's useful. But as a direct attack... Aquanum's falling, though. He's, he's just getting hit by too many spiders. He doesn't have Google's excellent pro de delaying strats that... You know, Google is really, really good at just yeah. oh, stalling games. Speaking of, monster. well, playing and ending. No, it's just flipping. That's game. Yeah. GG. We finished game one. I think he was enjoying using the weapon. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to stop. Like, no, I want my toys. That, that weapon should have been allowed to be stay alive that long. I think a uh, small investment in fighters could have uh, killed it. More than free army. Yeah, that would have definitely been a possibility. It's yeah, getting you know, nine, ten fighters. However... I'm a bit more surprised that... That was the first match. <laughs> that was. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Great. That was half an hour. I'm going to get some water, <laughs> so you guys just entertain the crowd while I go get a drink. So how oh. cool is knocking a wyvern, using a wyvern to knock a crab off of a hill and making it fall down and take damage from hitting the ground? Not as cool <laughs> as throwing a comet to cool. another comet and having them both die simultaneously. Well, uh, that's calm napping though. Calm napping is boring. Calm napping is not nearly as fun as I Wyvern. Guess. Wyvern's awesome. But if it was a level two level five comms and Wyvern hit the first one, knocked into the second one, they both died. Yeah, I've seen I've seen them knocked off of hills. In fact, I think I've seen one time where a Wyvern came in, hit a recon comm, didn't kill it because it was so stacked with um with hit point modules. 
um, but knocked it off a hill, and then it jumped in midair as it was falling in order to cut the impulse damage and nice. not, not die from hitting the ground. Yeah, you can also do that actually if you have a recon com with being ejected from a vindicator. Oh. Hmm. You can, can you shoot uh, at transports now from inside mm -hmm. the transport. Can you shoot at the uh, transport from inside the transport now? Uh, the, the thing that's being transported by. What do you mean? I, I mean, if uh, someone picks up uh, a glaive or a commander, can the commander or glaive shoot the transport? No, no, no. Um, otherwise, okay. you'd have the problem of um, if you can shoot out of it, then you can just like you'll get ridiculous things like flying penetrators and <laughs> you know. But um, you what, what can what you can you can do is you can actually eject a unit from from a vindicator, and you just press a button and the unit flies out um, in the same way as if the vindicator had died. So this uh -huh. is just sort of a, a way to, to force eject something out of something. Uh, and all of the normal rules for impulse and stuff apply for that, so you can, if you're doing jacks, you can force them, you can drop the, the jacks and then jump the jacks and, and land somewhere and that sort of stuff. And uh, uh, I said this can only be do, done by the player owning the transport, or can the playing being transported yes. eject no. as well? Okay. No. Oh, they can't, but I'm just thinking maybe that would, no, it, it wouldn't, that wouldn't help with com drops. You'd still, you'd still end up killing yourself, wouldn't you? you it wouldn't oh, you wouldn't die from it if you eject as soon as you get picked up. That's true, yeah, yeah. It's actually, yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Comnaps has always, they've always been in the game and we've taken out so many of the things that have made them problematic, like you need a Vindicator to nap, you can't just use the light transport. You know, you need, uh, you, the, the commander's importance has been reduced a lot and these things and the explosion isn't as large. I still think commander sniping in general, any commander sniping strategy, whether it's the Brawler, a Black Dawn, a Vindicator or Ravens or I mean, a, a Jack, one of the classic things is you just build the jack as the first thing out of the factory. If it's a very small map, you jump onto their base and just kill the commander. Um, mm. I still think that's really strong, but uh, maybe it's a little bit too strong in some cases. But yeah, I'm not sure. Right. Well, Look, we have the map for game two intersection, apparently. Uh, my map. Yay. Oh boy. Yeah, this one. This intersection. Is, this one is. I'm guessing vehicle air for both players. Some variety. Oh, it's, I it's think most enough. of the factories actually work. They do. Yeah, but air is particularly strong here. I've noticed. Well, yeah, I, I think that um, it's air is strong because you start with four metal extractors. Yeah, and, and you start with two very easily defendable ramps, and then you have yeah, also exactly. have two metal extractors, which are easy to take with your commander. Yeah, so that six the same metal way. extractors. The gravity. Yeah, the same yeah, it's set up. Except mm, only mm, one ramp it, in that it, case. It, yeah, even though it's it's a smaller map. Um, no, so you, you know, air isn't mandatory. But I think, given the meta at the moment, we're not seeing that many cheesy gunship starts, which would force planes. We're not seeing that no. many cheesy plane starts, which would force planes. So I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I am surprised that they are doing this, but that that the, that the meta is not more air focused. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be. So I, I, I'm not sure that air is guaranteed here. Well, I wouldn't know either. It's it's, just, it's hard to guess. But it's also the, the the opposite is also true. Um, you have a lot of resources available for lots of anti-air quickly. Well, mm. I think probably we'll see. Google Frost is going to go for quick anti-air if the Google Frost is going to do the air start. Flip Stepper Lauer is going to go for uh, air. Lauer is probably going to go for tanks I would or hovercrafts, one of the two. Not quite sure if Lauer Lowry does like that. tanks. Yeah, they I, do love tanks, the but they also have been loving hovercrafts. In the 1v1 tournament, Lauer yeah. built nothing but hovercrafts, so... Oh, yeah, Google Frog's going for Cloaky, so Google Frog's going to go for a quick Gremlin, I'm guessing. Aquanim, probably going to do air start if anyone is. Aquanim's already in the back. I mean, that's, that is communicating air start to me. I think, um, yeah, Lowry's also saying, yeah. I think one of the things that um, about this map is that you can put down static AA, like a Razor's Kiss forward, which will protect oh, yeah. um, there we go. six or eight metal extractors. And Aquanim moving forward, actually, with a gunship start. Well, Lowry and Flipstep still trying to work it out, but yeah, it looks like Flipstep and Lowry are, yeah, they will have an air start, and there is a gunship start, so this game is not going to be that surprising. Yeah, it's the first time we're really seeing air versus air, I think. We haven't seen any air versus air match up the entire game. That's true, actually, and that's, 
that's actually a little bit surprising because I remember the games I was casting as prep on Tuesday. I it was I think all of them. There was one that was a calm nap, and another one that was air versus air that was kind of a showcase on when you need to be really careful about how you time out the ground switch in an air versus air situation because if you think you have an advantage and you actually don't, then you end up getting torn apart in the air and then you lose. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, okay, Lowry going for air and gunship. So, question is, is Akon going to go for a Black Dawn, Banshee, or Rapier Rush? Or is Akon going to go for more Tridents early on, trying to play the defensive game, keep air control for a little longer, and then from there go for the main attacks? It, it might be Rapiers if he wants to hedge his bets. Cause, yeah, that is But both. if he does go for a Brawler Rush... Dev loss. I don't see why you go for Brawler Rush on this, this map in a 2v2 to begin with, honestly. That it seems to be pretty popular. Whoa. It, it, that's what he's doing. Laurie's starting with a fighter. What the heck am I doing? starting with a Brawler. Did anyone else get a big spike of lag there? Hmm? You can you still uh, bomb okay, uh, Brawlers with uh, Ravens? Oh, what is a Brawler start? Well. Yep. Okay, I guess we're on to game three. <laughs> Could you hear me all right? There, I said. I said, yeah. It was. Yeah, oh, I, I heard you. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were being hypothetical. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, gremlins to start out as well. So at least there is anti-air coming in. Well, yeah, maybe gremlins supported brawler could work, but I think that puts you behind economically. Well, yeah, th this might work out, and, and brawler can sort of shoot at air. It, it, it now has yeah, some... Can, yes, which was really... Yeah. That was amusing back when Ravens could actually hit air units. Like Brawler versus Raven. Still can. I just understood. It's just silly. Yeah, it shouldn't be possible. Uh, a Raven is not anti air. No, it shouldn't, <laughs> but... Yeah. Well, it was. But I mean, now it's not, of course. Now that's been fixed. But still, Brawlers... It, the fact that you had that weird fight in the skies like that was actually pretty cool. I mean, it was silly, but it was just neat to watch. We like letting things rely on their physical properties, and and since and that's why I like this Raven game. That's why died. I played this game in the yeah. first place. It's like we're, it's why we're really reluctant to to pull out like neat little things you can do like that to remove them. But the Raven's so strong and its role so defined that we can't sort of afford to have it. I don't think we can afford to have it have this but extra trick what if in its repertoire. It was just timed out. You attack ground as an air unit would go under. I mean, really, that's you extremely can't, that's hard to do. so hard. Yeah, it's true. That, that is really hard to do. Here, here comes the, the fighters. But fighters are actually, especially these ones, oh, the this is, Swifts. Man, this is one hell of I mean, Just look at this. Yeah. I mean, the Scorchers here are trying to get the Gremlins. The Gremlins, of course, going cloaked, so trying to find them is hard. So why don't you get the air baited out? Now, the Gremlins are currently on hold position, but not hold fire. So those fighters get close. The Scorchers could have dealt with it, but now the Scorchers are being pushed back. That was oh, a 10 tool there. I speak should do now is... Uh, Try to keep them contained and get a little bit uh, more ground. Mm -hmm. I think Make a small investment in a slightly better economy and play from there. Yeah, I mean, you always want to, when you're attacking, always expand while attacking. That's definitely true. I'm just thinking that for that particular fight, to keep the to keep the anti-air against the brawler strong, I mean, that Scorcher could have gotten rid of the gremlins if the gremlins were spotted, which would have required being risky with the fighters. Not too risky, just risky enough that the scor Scorchers can get us just get a read or get a beat on the gremlins here. They get that, mm. just that, then they'd be able to stop them completely. However, the scorcher here gonna be torn apart by glaives. Kills one of them, but that's not enough. Wasting those scorches like that is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I, I think gremlins are one of the best AA units in the game because of their ability to cloak. I mean, it just means that you can't do that sort of thing where the, the land player could just wipe out the anti air. No, not unless you're baiting the air out. If you bait the AA out, then yeah. you can. But otherwise mm. no dice. He's making rapiers now and next to trident, so oh, that will sprung. Help Cut it out. Yeah, it looks. What? What is sprung to him? Uh, he's, he's drawing. Uh, oh, okay. I have map. I have map marks off, so I don't really care. Yeah. But Lowry. Okay, now Lowry's gonna be able to take. Oh, not even able to take care no, of that. No, 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 no. Wants no. to move away. Google Frog and Akronim. He doing doesn't a... want to stay under those uh, gremlins. Wow, Google Frog and Akronim doing a very nice job keeping this. I think Akronim on the way to getting air control. Pretty close yeah, to the Brawler plus anti air is local. quite a strong combo, apparently. Yeah, he will have local air superiority, definitely. I think they might I have global air superiority soon. I think 
Lowry might just go for a ground. No, never mind. No, Gra Lowry going for a Raven instead. Figuring the anti air is not strong enough to worry about just the anti anti air. <laughs> and this is a problem. I think they might be this right. Trident this Trident down. is not going to do its job at all. The Swift's taking it out and oh. it just ultimately taking out the Brawler. It can still hit gunships, I think. And that Brawler goes down. Well, that's, the that was it. So, <laughs> wait. The, did the Raven hit the Brawler? I missed that. I was. I think yeah, it, it did. did. Oh. Mm -hmm. Must have maybe <laughs> attacked around below the ship because the gunship. No, I, no, think, no. I, I think it was. I think it, it. The Raven hitting planes might have been removed, but Raven hitting gunships, I don't think it was. Oh. Well, <laughs> Ravens. <then>. Yeah. <laughs> that changes everything. Yes, yes, it does. So apparently, it hasn't been changed one bit in the meaningful way that I've never seen it. Raven versus plane. I have seen Raven versus gunship a lot. Or at least I've seen it a lot in a single game, and it was, it was striking, and hilarious. And Google maybe Frog, this will convince some um, Google Frog that the that doesn't quite work out very well. It's too much of a disadvantage for gunships if, if the main bomber, which is the most versatile bomber in the game, one of the strongest anti-land air units, one of the strongest units, um, is also an anti-air air unit. <laughs> so you know what? How about we just make this Raven K? That's it. <laughs> That's all it is. Here comes the raven again. It's yeah, there yep. it goes again. <laughs> and the ravens are actually ooh, right under the gremlins, so not enough though. Not staying under there long enough, but still at the same time enough support uh, to get to that northeast expansion, giving Google Frog and Aquinum some breathing room, taking the southwest at the same time. The southwest Google center though, that's that's solidly Lowry's. Google Frog and on eco now. I mean, with the commanders out there, and as long as. Aquanim's uh, commander doesn't get bombed, and as long as Google Frog can build enough defenders up here, um, yeah, that's the be problem they the are having now. Um, Lori is investing in airplanes all the time, but it's not giving him anything. Except for the Ravens, of course. He might be trading even then, here and there, but it's not. He's, he's given up on fighters entirely. He's realized he can bomb the gunships anyway. He doesn't need fighters. If it switched a lot earlier, it'd probably be even better for him. Yeah, although I think at this uh, point the problem is how much. How much can Lowry really project force? Like how much can Lowry even take ground? I mean, admittedly, Lowry can threaten and kind of make it difficult for a Google Frog and Aquan to actually secure themselves in an area, but once they have, I mean, there's not much to give any solid for presence. Oh, they yeah. lost it now. Lowry's losing because um, of the, the defenders in this area. Lowry's losing his command. Yeah, that's that's exactly threatens. what I mean. That's my point exactly. It's like. At this point, Google Frog and Aquanim have basically got two players worth of map control compared to Flips to basically taking care of the entire burden of keeping actual military presence on the map, keeping a front line, and keeping their territory consolidated. Because I mean, at this point, a lot of players have been, yeah, a lot of players have been saying that defender spam is the counter to an air start, and it looks like it's working pretty effectively. Well, it's it's a pretty versatile counter, honestly. I mean, defender spam I don't, is just uh, a counter to. Oh, what a cheese. Light defense spam is the best against most uh, strategies. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. It's such a versatile defense that I would say it's great that it's the defense, except that it's the defense to everything. Like, <laughs> glaives coming in? Defenders. A crab coming in? As you saw last game, defenders. A, <laughs> a, a no. lotus in your opponent's base? Defenders. Well, yeah, I think that um, a, 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 a thug ball... <laughs> or card jewels, or you know, doesn't work on everything. Maybe. Oh, by the way, volume. But yeah. For the first during the for the first ten minutes of the game, you can uh, safely spam them. Pretty much. Now LTs in numbers are actually good against assault units. They are, but but the, but the thing is that in small numbers they aren't. The assault units win, and the defenders are cheap, and it's just the defenders are. Just so much a thing now. They're just they're what everyone does. They're, they're what the cool kids do now. And everyone wants to do what the cool kids do. Which is stay oh, in one spot. Slow missiles upwards. now. Wait a second. Oh yeah, rapiers are slow missiles. Actually, wow. slow missiles, I think. It makes them a lot better versus air, uh, especially bombers. Yeah, definitely. Um, the thing about defenders is that brings back artillery. You know, artillery is not very strong in the meta, but if you build a lot of defenses, someone starts building wolverines. And then you stop building defenses. And <laughs> Yeah, but Wolverines cannot hit. No, but then you stop what building hammers. What is Wolverine doing? As Google Frog has been. 
get some hammers out there, and that'll break the, the line. The, the projectiles just disappear, right, uh, Wolverine. Uh... Yeah, they're missing the defenders. Yeah, they're point blank and missing. I think they might, they might need to yeah, double check that behavior. Very well. <laughs> They're not doing very. They're not doing very well. Is my volume a bit better? No, no, no your volume's fine. Just, no, it's okay. Yeah, that. Okay, cool. That's gonna need to be looked into because that is definitely a bug. Yeah, I, if I it think collides that, um, directly with another model, it doesn't uh, collapse and, it, and doesn't shoot those other free projectiles. Uh, it it should do. If it does that, it should do the bonus damage with the full projectiles the way it does to a shield. But I mean, it's clearly not. So. Yeah. But you can see that the brawl has now been using as a being used as an artillery piece. It does. It actually has the range. Wonderfully. Yeah. Yeah, However, so you don't need to. It can also be used as a raider right, or sorry, a riot right now in the north, center east side of the map as Flips are going for a pretty nice raid. The rapier's not able to do too much damage. Actually, going to go down to the scorchers. One of the rapiers goes down, and the second rapier is very soon about to go down to the looks like. No, 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 no he doesn't. Back. Flips does not want to risk it. Yeah, you have to see what you mean, Flora. He'll just Flores, bomb it. That's <laughs> definitely not the way to go. But still, there's a lot. I mean, the northeast here. Oh, never mind. That's just so many defenders. You can see Dave, uh, uh, Goofrock has two corners while Laurie or ISP has uh, just a sender, and it's mm -hmm. not giving him enough income. Yeah, it's another rapier just got bombed. And unlike Titan, but the yeah. um, brawlers moving in now and just be artillerying out these um, defenders. Well, the, the Hawks are trying to deal with that as well, but still the defenders have gone down, the damage has been done, and I think unlike Titan Duel, it seems like this map does not value the center as much. Admittedly, there's a lot of resources in the center compared to the edges. No, never mind, there's three in each. So yeah, this is not like Titan yeah. Duel. I, uh, I designed this map specifically so that um, the center is low ground, it's flat, there's no cover, um, it, there's less metal extractors there, because in a lot of small one versus one maps you can sort of take the center and that's it's, it's you walk commanders into the center and you, the f commanders fight each other for the center and whoever manages to succeed wins the game. Yeah. This map is very much the other way. Yeah, so whoever gets the edges. Where you have to fight over multiple areas and the center is important but it's Less, much less important than fighting of the two uh, hills yeah. on the side. Although I still think Titan Duel does provide a good value for the corners. It doesn't feel like center. Yeah, center definitely. Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's very important there too. It's, it's, it's a good map. And one thing uh, okay. Google Frog and, and Aquanim have not done though is take their metal extractors, the two on the low ground. Oh yeah, right miss these. Front. Actually, they've never taken. I think this, this is. The, I think this is the flaw of me as a map designer actually that I, these are not obvious enough or something. Cause, or there's like, yeah, I don't you. understand. A lot of people. It's it's not this. just you. Actually, I've there's really got to be a good standard for what a metal patch is to make it really obvious overall. Hey, this and is that's metal why patch. you have the F4 uh, to cope with the wide variety of maps we have. Yeah, a, a player like Google Frog should know. Well, I mean, <laughs> honestly, you hit some blast you hit coming out though. Control from the w. North, which is interesting. You hit Control W, and oh hey, there's all the metal spots it could be. I mean. Unless Google Frog doesn't use Control W to set metal spots or set mexes, which is possible. You can see along the north. The, the, Did the you see the cloakbot factory from uh, Laredo? He could uh, put down a sniper now or uh, oh, start oh, yeah. spamming glaives. Glaive. Not a bad idea. Glaives are the option though. And along the north, there is um, there is hawks fighting with brawlers and rapiers. And what actually happens is that the rapier slows the hawk down. The hawk slows down when it fires as well. Which means that the brawler can actually hit it quite easily, which gives you a, another sort of soft anti-air combination. Yeah, which I think is. I see transports. Woo! I see blast wings. Gotcha play. Aquanim's I haven't seen this uh, for a while. Ready for a massive attack somewhere. Not sure where though. What do you want to do with two Zeus's? Where would you drop them? How would you into drop the base? Them? I think into the base. Wouldn't you add uh, warriors to that? Or an uh, Zeus Zeus's, I think, a. Uh, uh, so yeah. expensive, and no, no damage output. I gotta be honest, I agree with Force yeah, here. The warriors, warrior drop is what's done. No one ever does a Zeus yeah. drop. Like, you do a warrior I drop think because it's just... You just have... You get rid of the speed penalty, and they just get in range. Range penalty gone, speed penalty gone, damage bonus still very much there. Works out beautifully. E, I see the ISP vehicle. Oh. The, those are ravages, by the way. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice to hear it. I think in response to these, the Zeus's are actually not too bad against Scorchers. I mean, obviously they're much slower. No, they're but not. Yeah. No, but the, unfortunately against Glaives, uh, not he, so he much. Reveals. Yeah, the Glaives are going to be going oh, down. Oh, he and wants to drop ticks. <laughs> oh, he's doing a tick. That's very clever. It failed totally, but it's very clever. 
Wait, Google Frog so many it? defenders. Oh, yeah, I did. It's not of, of, offensively. It doesn't work. Wait, I mean, Google Frog was I trying th to I think it's defenders. very. I've, I've never seen that. I mean, I've seen what? I've seen Roach kick? bombs. Oh. No, you're dropping them from tra ticks from transports. Oh, I missed that. Sorry, I was slightly off screen. Let's zoom out a bit. Anyway, it looks like. Oh, come on, Google Frog, don't shoot at yeah, the, uh, what the heck? Fish. That must be. He, they must not have been paying attention. That was clearly a mistake. Because they are moving forward and they are continuing to assault. In the northeast, is pretty solidly taken. Very solidly taken. There's really no entrance. Ravager's trying to go over to deal with it, but the brawler is going to stop them in their tracks if the defenders don't first. Although the defender's not going to do too much. At this point, the Ravagers will be able to survive the shots, but the brawler is there. And there is the blast wings coming in. Will be there and will get it's rid of my it. My turn. Boom, down they go. And it doesn't. Poorly positioned, unfortunately. Because blast wings are really pain to aim. Oh, oh, that's enough damage, though. Versus, that weakens it enough. Yeah, versus Ravages, you're not... Versus any Assault sort of level of hit points, you need a lot of Blast Wings. They're more sort of... Uh, they're much better for Raiders. Yeah, well, it still softened them up enough. So overall, it worked out in this Ravager. Not able to do too much other than... Well, okay, broke down a few Defenders. That's actually a fair amount, but still. That was five Ravagers. That was a lot of... Metal. That's 500 Metal in Reclaim. Right there. Donated. Care of... Flipstep. Yeah, they're slowly losing uh, in army value and income. Yeah, which does mean this game's going to be a bit faster, seeing as Google Frog it doesn't have to do any delaying tactics. Oh. Again. He's going for round two with the Rever, just this time with more anti-air uh, in uh, in the attack. But the Zeus's are coming through, and they're Wait, did, almost on yeah. top. Yeah. Wait, did Google, Frog, Google Frog lost the last game, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The wind counter, I did switch around. Uh, I need to make a widget. Anyway. Is the commander's going to go down again yet, stunned? If he, oh, no, he's pulling back. It, there's one level 2 commander, by the way, with uh, two auto repairs. Yeah, the Europa here over here. Lowry's commander. Raikannon, two auto repair, and been, battle com. I don't think it's been used yet, so that's kind of a waste. Oh, sorry. Oh, is that strike com? Yeah, strike com. Never mind. And. <laughs> oh, wow. The Ravages are getting. Pushed back so hard by this brawler. They are, as are the Hawks trying to get rid of it thanks to the defenders as well. Although admittedly, the bottom side of that has been pretty much removed. I mean, there's not much that can be done about that. There should and be... Crashers... Oh, there goes that brawler! More reclaiming going on on the right side. That brawler's down The mid's being cleaned out, though, by Google. It has, so really no real benefit to Flipspin Lowry. Though they are actually not doing too badly economically. Lowry in particular. Here comes the tick drop. Tick drop in the mid. And... Yep. Oh, yeah, but does he knocked want to out in the air, though. Blew up the transport Useless. and stunned out Rocco, but that was about it. It got intercepted. It was. It was no good. <laughs> no. It's much better with roaches. Yeah, because at least that way you'd be able to kill the Rocco here rather than just stunning it out briefly. Good raid yeah. uh, on the right side. If he just Who's joins that? up with the main force again, it will be good. And that looks like that is. Possibly going to happen. Oh, on. Max, possibly. max, 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 max. Yeah, these Zeus's are actually retreating versus the Rockos because the Rockos can just skirm them indefinitely. Same with the Commander. So, yeah, yeah Laurie and Flipstep are they're back in the game. I think they're still down. Yeah, the, the reclaim order on those uh, constructors in the center is really nice now. Hmm. That will like give them, uh, or it, it's putting them back uh, in income and in uh, army. I think Google Frog's trying to show off with this this shenanigans with these transports. Oh, here we go. The warrior drop finally. Finally, we get to the proper way you use the transports here. Yeah, it's You do this if you, the map is big and it's hard to respond to fast units, but this map is relatively small. so. Well, I still think he's going to drop um, into the base to try to tear apart the roof. That seems the logical thing to do. There's not much. To that should win the game if he can get in. Yeah, if. And actually, that's not a very big if because there's there's no defense. There's a hawk. That might take out one too of the There's some defenders too, yeah. No. Yeah. In the main base? No, there's no defenders. There's one. Okay, there's three defenders in the main base. That's not a threat. But uh, I think you lose at least two uh, and, of them on the oh, way. Zeus okay, but there are ten transports coming in. Losing two is not a big deal. And they're going. He yeah. wants to drop all of the Zeus's. Well, going along the south over to, or sorry, southwest over to the northwest. At the same time, the brawler is distracting these hawks, so that's perfect. No defense is coming in here, and Google Frog can come in, does lose, or well, lose the transport. 
One of the Zeus and Warriors out of position, but still, even with that loss, the Zeus is able, the Warriors are able to tear apart everything, ripping apart the entire base. That is going to be it. <laughs> okay. That is going to be it. The entire game decided, thanks to that one Warrior drop. Nicely done there. And of course, all the army out of position has to move desperately back to try to get in, but well, not in time. And it will die eventually. This. If you can get it's his commander there. Points. No, it's even then. The commander's not going to get there in time. What would it do? It, it was a big investment. Uh, it was, but at this point, the center of the map has nothing to really support this. After this is done, there's some rockers coming in, which do open the center there's of the map. There's still in a fact, huge uh, ravage ball on the right side. That, about, oh, uh, that is a problem. 11. I think the um, the Zeus's, if they go in now, there's no rockers in the middle to stop them. They could run over the enemy commanders. But right now they're going yes. towards the well, Ravager the Ball, which I think sense. is a bit silly because the Ravager can just retreat. So he, he, yeah, he's pushing he wants to now. keep he's those Zeus's back. Bluff the Ravager out and then go to the center and then walk yep. over. And that's exactly what Google Frog's doing. Because Flipstep got a bit scared and that... Uh, no, he got Frog separated. May not, may not do that. I don't know. Google Frog doesn't seem to be quite committed to overrunning. But it seems like even if Google Frog isn't, Aquinum certainly is pushing into the center with the opportunity with the Rockers gone and the main base completely destroyed in complete ruins. And now is the second attack going to come in? Because it looks like... He's afraid of those ravages oh, yeah. though. And on... Well, I can't say I necessarily blame them, but at the same time... These glaives should be I don't need constructors to rebuild this as soon as, as fast as they can. Yep. Google Frog needs to go in and take out the commander and factory before it gets out. Yeah, right, too many tanks right and things. Now, and not doing so, Google Frog being a bit too timid. I don't, does Google Frog know about this? N well, actually, no. Google Frog does not actually know about the he factory. He could walk in with those Zeus's right now. True. Don't tell in. me that the Razor Kiss is going to kill the uh, Brawler. Well, it... It's so high up, it's almost an anti-air turret. Is Stardust? Uh, yeah, the Stardust, yeah. I, no, the Stardust does not have range. Because the Stardust, the Stardust can target air, though. It can, of course it can. Okay. But, but the, um, the Brawler has way too much range. Well, it looks like defenders. if they are going to attack, they're going to attack to the weakest point in the center, which does mean not hitting the factory. And Stardust down, so I that's... I see a lot of lag going on at the moment, by the way. The ping oh, of... Oh, yeah, they're... Everyone is, uh, jumping... What the heck? Just jumped up to, uh, over a second. It's, it's not I'm not sure bad, what's happening. Well, it's going to be... It's going to be brief, apparently. That's not going to be... A, hopefully the biggest okay. problem. So it looks like it has settled down. Whatever internet issues are occurring right now have been settled, and now Google Frog are going to move in. No, not we move in. Yeah. We're back to the frontline situation of before. It's really bad, because the, the Rockers are back in a position. They can cu keep kiting the Zeus's. There's a Banisher there, which can again kite the Zeus's and does lots of splash damage to deal with that many of them. He, I think Google Frog missed his window. Yep, so... Oh, uh, there's still four metal uh, or so. spots behind. Yeah, there are. They can wait it out and well, get bigger. Wait, there are? Oh, I see. Yeah, right. The four metal spots inside of Lowry and Flips' main base. They, yep. could, they need to retake those. They're reclaiming that, though. They're going to get the reclaim, and they're going to get the mexes again. They're taking the um, uh, other side. So, yeah, they need to make something happen. Oh, and Blast going to the northeast, trying to get rid of more Ravagers. Stop them from coming in, but... Looks like Glaze, okay, Glaze trying to deal with so the Rockos. Zeus's, it doesn't matter how many, those, that amount of Rokos cannot stop and double amount of Zeus's. <laughs> no, but it looks like the Glaze yeah. is distracting the Rockos and the Zeus is moving in while the Rockos are distracted. There we go. There's another window. Google Frog just opened up for they're, themselves. They're not moving in. They're moving to block the Ravages again. Ah. He's too afraid of the Ravages. Well, why am I saying da? No, I shouldn't say da because that's inappropriate. But still, Google Frog <laughs> is, you're right, Google Frog is not... The only thing he's dealing. Oh, However, oh, that Reaper's dead. Reaper. Reaper's not a bad target, though. Can't say I disagree with that one. I would love to see uh, roaches now. Loads of them. Well, it looks like the game is getting so crowded. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Although I don't see where no shield block factory yet. Yeah, but the, the there's enough economy on oh, the, yeah, the, the game is. at the moment. No one has actually gone for that. Although it looks like the glaives are back in position. Oh, sorry, rock is back in position, but at half their number. The Glaives did manage to deal with quite a few of them, and now the Zeus's look like they're just going to come in and not Finally. care. And the Hammers as well as support, trying to just deal with the Glaive, getting rid of this TARDIS Oh rebuild. no, he's pulling back again! Yeah, Google Frog really not confident in what they can do. I think... I don't know, are they trying to get, they're trying to get expansion. I mean, 
I'm not sure about the There's army no value, apparently. Oh, I see. They're trying to retreat back to the stinger. Stop. Use that to stop the Roccos, and then from there, get the Glaive. Oh, get no, Glaive's no, no, coming no. to flank, but that's no, not even working. I'm not even calling anything pro other than prognosticating. I, it's just I'm seriously afraid of the enemy's unit composition with these Zeus's here. Then why is he spamming nothing but Zeus's? He could spam he those, those Roccos. Spam tick all the Roccos. Well, and they spam Glaive. It is the Glaives are spammed, and that should be useful. The melee is not coming as much as it could be. Yeah, they're, they're good against Roccos. I, I think he hammers should as well. inflate right now. If he did. The hammers as well, that's really risky because, of course, the hammers will be quite juicy targets for the Roccos if their range... Well, if they get close enough, the Roccos get close enough, those hammers are going to die. Over, despite that, the Roccos are losing out once again. Now we're down to eight Roccos. I mean, Google Frog can attack now. Composition is not going to be a threat. There are 22 Zeus's against 8 Rogos. Hmm, should work out. In theory, yes. The you Banishes think are quite so. strong, but the Banishes are dying to the Brawlers, so yeah. And those Banishes... And oh, there's there um, goes. a Pillager up. Oh, there is. Yes, there is. Athena made uh, those. Oh, and... The oh, what the... This hammer's going out unprotected. All the Zeus is out and back, and the hammer's getting taken out by Glaze, though. Brawler as support, but still a couple hammers are getting... Oh, one hammer goes down. Another hammer was heavily threatened, but did move back in time. And these brawlers are... Okay, there we go. Zeus is coming in. It looks like the final push. And Goo Frog... Looks like Goo Frog acronym are going to... Oh, come on. Push shoot the brawler. Three. <laughs> oh, boy. This is just a brute force method. Well, it works. It's going to work. It's going to finish it. This is going to be game. And we're going to move on to game three in about two minutes or so. I think... If, if there is a merciful god in this universe. And... Oh wait, God is not playing. I think... I think, um... Uh, god is always... He's never merciful. Um... <laughs> but uh, I think he's, Google's just trying to play really conservative. He's trying to do the retreat and repair with his Azuses. Yeah, it's like... Um, and he's, he's doing a good job. And it's it's very efficient. But um, he could probably just clean the map up right now. Good. It reminds me of the way Clone plays, actually. Clone plays in a very defensive style as well. And... With even more defenders. Well, actually, Clone's big thing is not just defense style, but also getting three or four factories by, like, 30 minutes in the game. So Does he do this sort of a thing where he uses the best unit from each factory, like, just roaches? Pretty much, just yeah. <laughs> Once it gets to that point of three or four factories, factory. yeah, it's basically just factory for one, so maybe cherry two unit picking, types. yeah. And it works quite well, actually. But... Google Frog's not doing that, just going straight Floki and not surprising this map. However, the comp should go down here. Yeah, and the Faraday's nice, not nice pulling back. choice there, but unfortunately not quite enough. And yeah, Google Frog once again pulling back. I mean, Google Frog doesn't know how many Roccos there are, that's the thing. Like, Google Frog doesn't actually know there's only eight Roccos. I, th I think he'd, no he'd realize by now that this is all they can feel, otherwise they would feel more, uh, feels more, because they're losing their factories and their economy. Yeah. Well, okay, I, now, I think that now they know. The top's been cleared out, so um, Aquanim's retaking that. I think these two have um, sadly won this match. Yeah, they they won this match when they killed the main base. It's yeah, it was, they were, yeah, I think if they had a field of something like a ton of roaches to kill the Zeus's, uh, they needed to get rid of the army advantage too, because they did reclaim and, and they started to take the, the north side. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, maybe the factories are built to the north. Google Frogs morphed to a crab. Like if the factories weren't built in the center, but built a bit further north behind some of the defenses, that might have been a bit safer. Like, give them production. Yeah, they or don't know where it's going to be. Think, I think Laurie should have made a, a shield bot factory, put down a bunch of roaches, and the Zeus, they do die to roaches. Oh, yeah. Because they can't hit the things. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, Roach, I'll fire it five feet away from it because, wait, boom. And then, you know. Yeah, and design you. time. That's not the Roaches, but you, you'll make cost if you make the Roaches uh, stealth or if you come from the side, you know. Yeah. Again, prevent and many of And that roaches. game, we have game over. So we're going to move on to game three. Get your popcorn, people. Two half hour games. Wow. I don't expect the trend to end anytime soon. Get your popcorn, people. <laughs> I'm not a particular fan of popcorn, people. I mean... Could you uh, bring up the... Oh, yeah. Uh, excess uh, wind? Switch? 
Sorry, what was that, Flores? Could you bring up the excess metal graph at oh, the end yeah, of the sure. game? What's up? Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of metal excess from Aquinum. It would have gone straight to Google, though, so it wouldn't have been lost. Oh, right, that's true. That's that's worth noting. And it's a good strategy with an inferior player for them to just not worry too much about accessing metal. Just expand yeah, their economy as fast as possible. Don't worry about spending it at the other metal players. Metal sent is pretty much even between the two of them, so they were... Actually, Google Fox sent more metal to Aquanim than vice versa. Did he? Yeah. Then maybe Aquanim was excessive. Like, look at the metal sent graph. Aquanim has kind of uh, stepped up over time. Google Frog spiked around the 20 minute mark and stayed at 1,000. Whereas Metal Excess I'll spiked be, uh, around right the same back. time. So Google Frog is basically giving Aachen a metal that got wasted. That was basically how that worked. So what match are we on to next? You're on to match three. I don't know what map they're going to pick. It's up to Flipsman and was, Lowry. Was, is, was, is this match three? Is yep, it? it's match three. 1-1. One, one. All right, it won one. Okay. Yeah, because Flipstip Lowry took the first game because they just pincered successfully after 10 minutes. And the second game, as we saw, Google Frog and Aquanim because basically persistence and gunships. Now on to game three, which will be on a map of, like I said, Flipstip and Lowry's choosing. No clue what they're going to go for, but given the performance so far, I would not be surprised if it was something big. Well, on the other hand, it is Google Frog, so I don't know. Like, Lowry, it's like, does Lowry believe that he has enough macro, and Flipstep too, do they believe enough macro potential to deal with Google Frog? That's the question. Yeah, at this at this point, they might they might resort to choosing him and just get, take trying to take him out. Just go for the macro map and take him out? No, choosing him. So oh, just... yeah, right, yeah, go for some double cheese. That could work. Yeah. I mean, if you had... Uh, actually, yeah, that would work really well, because what they could do is pick a map like... Well, I guess they could pick a map like... like I don't know, actually. I was going to say oh, Flooded Valley. Duck. They could do Flooded Valley Warrior Drop, but that would be really cheesy and probably would not work. Like, one player goes for the transport, one for the cloaky, and they re use Reclaim to get up in time, but I think that wouldn't work. It... <sighs> hmm... I think we should expect to, after the last game, we should expect to see more air. Because that was a, a double air matchup. Oh, yeah. Oh, Geyser Plains. Okay, that's what's being chosen, which is actually not surprising from thinking of it. Thinking of Lowry. That, that actually makes sense. So, yeah, we're going to be having Geyser Plains next, which shouldn't take too long. There's a lot of shields. Probably shield light vehicle, shield light vehicle or something like that. Or shield cloaky. Or shield hover. Yeah, a popular choice here is not just um. I mean, definitely um. Uh, shield. Shield rushes, but I think a popular choice here is Rocco spam, as oh, well yeah. as commander. We might see some commander strategies, such as rocket commanders and what have uh, you. Slasher. Uh, <coughs> slasher used to be very strong here. I think uh, since the morphs, it's not quite as. But sl but slasher slasher rocket com is still very strong. Well, my guess is that we'll probably see it covers in the. Uh, Akinem and Google Frog look like they're going to start on the right side. So they're going to have a slightly easier time taking the center resources. Probably, I don't know, Google Frog to the center and Akinem trying to take the south. I mean, granted, Akinem is a weaker player, but Google Frog probably, as a result of being a stronger player, hold the center stronger than the generally less contested south. I, I think the left... The, the south is actually, it has these really high value maxes, so it's often, often players will go for that. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. really two strategies here, which is one one is to go and form and, and, and take the south as much as possible and ignore everything else. And the other is just sort of to walk towards the enemy base, take the middle, and then just stomp his base directly because you're so close to it. Although, I mean, if, if you're not just walking straight into his base with a morphed commander or something, which is very common here, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some commander shenanigans because I expect Lorient Flipstep to. Want to cheese and win their to win their final game if they're going to break out anything? Yeah. Now, although, but then again, Lori double, is a very traditional player. Although they, they might do a double rush, like double build power rush. Just go for hey, we have commanders, we have build power, we have a ton of reserve metal. 
let's push 20 build power into a brawler or into a black dawn or something like that. That's not I think uncommon. that's riskier than, than say, it's easy going to, to Rocco spot. Slasher, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Rocco Slasher, uh, when... Rocco Slasher on this map is I've played a lot of 2 vs 2s um, and uh, it's really difficult to beat, especially with a, if you've got a supported commander, even if even an unmorphed commander, just making towers mm -hmm. and, and saying being a combat commander, it, it, it can be very difficult to beat. Also, pointing out that but, kind of word actually two particle uh, beam commanders, uh, yeah, morph and uh, move forward, yeah. or move forward and then morph. Yeah, that could be. It's immediately is it, it's your anti air and it's. Um, <laughs> Supported with uh, uh, scorchers and uh, slashers. Well, they haven't. Let's see, have they chosen? Let's see. Okay, so Lowry choosing to go cloaky, and okay, yeah, they're gonna go for a comp push from the sounds of it. So cloaky shields, racketeer, and probably glaives. Yeah. Not too bad. You can can see the uh, upgrade options of the commanders. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, and. Jump bot shield for Google Frog and Aquanim. Google Frog just going for dirtbag spam for scouting and jump bots for puppies and just slowing stuff down in general. Dirtbags coming out at the start, but racketeers are the plan apparently. For the shield effort for flip step, not sure about Google Frog. Probably gonna involve that at some point. Oh wow, wow, quick rogue. Okay, so I guess expecting Tom Rush. Which actually is yeah, I, I don't know why else you'd make a rogue, because they're very bad against raiders. Yeah, but that's that might happen? I don't know. Lowry and Flipstep look like they're actually investing more in their base than their pre-game chat suggests. Google might be going for a um, a rogue push, in the same way you go for a rocker push, using his commander as a riot unit. Oh, yeah. And actually, then just that's... sort of forcing himself into the enemy base. Well, we'll see what the commander upgrades. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, it looks so, like it yep. is. We've got a couple seconds good. left to uh, guess what he will pick. I say, I say heavy machine gun. Right, Cannon. I suspect. I'm guessing heavy machine gun. I'm probably wrong, um, but just because it's called heavy combat, I don't know. Something about that makes me think heavy machine gun. But maybe it's just, you know. It's the word heavy. Oh, hey. It's it's done. Praise the sun. Anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Two hits? No, not two hits. Well, this is where you I can spot the uh, the StarCraft players when they <laughs> switch uh, screen, select unit, and move it uh, to a different location in the time between uh, the launch and the uh, hit of a Rocco missile. Oh. Those are the fast guys. <laughs> yeah. Which is actually kind of you surprising can see these given how much, how there's no position or no physics play in StarCraft. I mean, there's focus fire and dodge and all. Well, not dodge, but there's focus fire and pulling back and all that. But you can't dodge shots. There's dodge. You can uh, blink. Uh, oh, right. Before Stalker they get blink. hit by That's roaches. Right about that. Uh, a placeholder Sorry, has thinking, been given from Aquanim to I, I to Google, Google Frog. So Google Frog's now using placeholders with rogues, so they can kill these glaives. That that's a great idea. I didn't even notice that because that's. I guess I would expect that Aquanim would be holding on to that. But yeah, Aquanim looks like they're going to the south, trying to hold it. Well, they're trying to make sure that Lowry doesn't have it, so Aquanim kind of doing some scouting and... He's not actually, reclaiming. Google Frog can reclaim. Oh, wow. Aquanim going to the north, taking the north instead, taking the two, the several... Lowry's commander is trapped in a placeholder. Oh, boy. And he's being bombarded oh, by... Yeah, by, um, just about to morph, though, but still... Oh, the morph! Well... And now you have the Rocket launcher and auto repair. Wow, that's an interesting Rocket choice. launcher and auto repair for Google Frog, so it's all skirmish oh, so there. so I... We were all wrong. But, uh, that placeholder disarm disarm. Bolt, yeah, that's that, that racketeer. racketeer. That racketeer doing the job. He's focusing so the placeholder. And that's exactly what they need yeah, to he do. He was because... focusing the commander, but now he's focusing the placeholder. Because he thinks it was more of a threat. He well. loses his uh, constructor at the top to a pyro. That's a good move. Yeah. Now, I think this is uh, a win for Google Frog. I think so too. I mean, Aquanim just has all the side control. I think anything that Loudon flips to try to do around the side, Aquanim has it sorted and center. Google Frog is just holding it. I mean, that, that disarmed placeholder is the only thing stopping Google Frog from getting through this and winning now. This racketeer is very strong, though, because the key units to this are the placeholder and the commander, and he can't use either. If He, he can, needs to bring both of them up forward at once and only use one, mm. because one of them is always going to be disabled. And, yeah, the rocket commander is now taking out the... Oh, here we go. This might work. It 
Well, I think... <laughs> it missed. Yep, and the Racketeer is going to be able to get a shot in. Oh, doesn't quite stun the commander out in time. In fact, this commander... The pirate is going to get it. Very tough to stun. And yet, Lowry's commander goes I have to say, down. the placeholder duration is long. Yes, it's almost as long as the um, rate of fire. So you can almost pretty much permanent Indefinitely. Stun. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's a stun lock. You kind of need something else. You need support unit to get rid of the placeholder. You cannot attack it with a unit in question, unless the placeholder is... Owner gets a little bit silly and forces it into range of the unit that's being held in place. It only has 475 range, so defenders outrange it and anything, yeah. slashes, things like that. But they need to be support units, that's the thing. You can't, like, one unit's gonna go down. Yeah. Or one unit's gonna be stopped completely. It's gonna be locked down. Yeah. Still, that placeholder is not being hit by the Racketeers, which does give the Rogues some time to get in, and Flipsip's commander, of course, next on the chopping block. Down goes my defenders as well, just because that is a useful thing to do. And what the heck is this Racketeer aiming at? Oh, it's just... I <laughs> think it's trying to hit the commander, but it only has radar yeah. covered, so... Oh, oh the placeholder yeah, the place went down. It... Oh. That was a big mistake. That... This makes him vulnerable to raiders now. Yeah, which is actually not coming up yet. Some bandits are coming if up. If he can stun up, but... that... He could, he could stun the tower, he could send his raiders in and just micro them. Yeah, but there's no economy. I mean... Yep, that's what he's just done. He's, he's, he's just disabled the tower. If he send his bandits in. There is a lot of reclaim. He, I think he can uh, try to get whatever reclaim is there yeah. and give up what the I position more, and focus on the north and south now. Yeah, but what I mean more is that the stinger here is stopping all these units from being built. So Lowry and Flipsip can't get an army because Flipsip is building a stinger. Yeah, and there's pirates coming around the north, which are going to take out Lowry's expansion. Oh boy, it's, ah. And the south... Come on, radar. They are your friends. The south has a pyro up here and there's a freaker coming around down the side. And it's pretty much in place to get those metal. All that metal is going to happen. It, it's a fascinating strategy using this like really strong push with both factories, units from both factories down the middle, while um, uh, while Aquanim just has free reign to expand. It's it's really really strong. And here go here goes the racketeer. And that racketeer is still doing a pretty decent job, but unfortunately, the, the racketeer is on the ground. In his base. <laughs> because why not? Oh, well, okay, it's sort of underground. I mean, it's not doing... Nope, it's dead. Racketeer's dead. I thought you meant it terraformed into the ground. It actually turned upside down, so that it was shooting its missile shot into the ground, because it, it shoots as right. a fixed launcher. <laughs> so it, it actually... One of its shots actually hit the ground, and this has allowed the um, commander to... Un disabled. Uh, Aquanim has two pirates at the back here, which you could just go in and kill the factories right now. <laughs> They've That's been there for uh, almost a minute. Yeah. Yeah, they're going in there. There they are. They actually were attacking south that entire time during the attack well, in the center, but yeah, that factory's going down. Base is going down. That is game, pretty much. I mean, at the same time, we have a flank coming in in the south of the base. And you got the stinger GG. up for all that it matters. That's game. Yeah, this was an incredibly considered strategy by Google Frog and Aquanim. They really thought this out, and Google Frog especially. I love his creativity, they must have like practiced this. you know, using and you using know rogues and, and placeholders. But I would have thought, since Laurie and Flipstip chose this map, I would have thought they would have a very like solid strategy well, that they're coming into like it they that they know exactly did. what. Yeah, I mean, although given the fact they went for racketeers early on, my guess is that they assumed it was going to be Compush Wars, and I guess they figured we'll just stun yeah. out Google Frog and then tear apart their Google Frog's commander. And it you know what? Out, yeah, uh, double compush racketeer is. It's, I mean, that's a strong, strong start. I yeah, think. Yeah, because bear in mind, I suppose I mean, that was yeah. strike com and I think recon. I wanna, I no battle com. Oh, battle. Okay, yeah. So that's. I guess I wouldn't know what Google Fog went. Again, to, but <clears throat> when you're facing a push like this, um, they are coming to you. You have space. You have time. You make one sniper. You still have both your commanders, and it's the unit with the most range, and you stop it. It relied completely on the uh, range of the uh, the rogues mm -hmm. and uh, placeholder. But if you have something that can shoot farther and you have time and space to retreat, you stop it. Yeah. And there was enough metal for a sniper. No, there you pick off the placeholder. You pick off a rogue. You take a shot at a laser turret. I think there are a lot of options um, there. Yeah, well, pooling. I them think out. Yeah, they, they didn't react properly. It, it was it was not good. Yes. I think even. Spamming glaives into that would have worked. You just use the racket to disable the only LT there. You spam glaives into well, it. And the the rocket commander micro. still is a splash weapon. Yeah, but you can dodge that. It's not that difficult to dodge that, especially if you you stay away from the rocket commander and just clean out the the um 
you've cleaned rogues out the rogues first. Right, yeah. yeah, once the rogues uh, go yeah. down, then after that point, it, I mean, I'm actually a little bit surprised how. At that low... point, you could just ring the commander and dodge his rocket. There was no it's, raider. It's not that I mean, difficult. Think about it. All the money that went to that stinger that could have gone into factory for raiders, and it would have probably been. I mean, there was only what four rogues. That. Yep. That would have at least yeah. taken care of a couple of them, and then the rest of them would have been taken care of by. Well, racketeers or the next wave of raiders. I mean, at that point, it would have at least offered a chance to make Uvrox commander naked, and then from there, just yeah. kill it. Aquanim and, and Google Frog just played an exceptional game where they relied on only one commander and an incredibly strong push, a really good synergy between and two different factories, the expansion, units, and the Aquanim expansion just, just completely expanded. And yeah. the protected expansion basically meant, well, hey, you know what? We'll just destroy everything. Because we don't have to worry about our economy because our economy is super healthy. He needed to just stall out those two players. Well, Aquanim was raiding with pyros around the side, which is really strong pyros. I mean, you know, if you expand with just a constructor with light laser towers, because because pyros are weak against a commander uh, expand because hmm. they can't take out a commander. But since both the commanders are distracted by Google Frog in the middle and they can't push in and they get place held and they get beaten off by um, rogues, even though Google Frog was kind of winning in the middle. If he'd all only been able to, able to stall with the rogues and the placeholders, forcing the enemy back, which is why I think he picked rogues rather than rockos, because rockos can get outranged by a rocket com, mm -hmm. which is typical on that map. While as, whereas rogues can dodge it and kite it and stay out of range, yeah. and with a placeholder you can put it in one position, then you can hit it with the um uh, the rogues and outrange it. it um, anyway, we should probably yeah. While while Aquanim expands, it was a really really good strategy.